Okay, good morning. I was going to do two separate videos, but uh, I'll just do one for now. I'll talk about Chris Paul first. Now, Chris Paul, as you know, I talked about him in previous videos, but I will say something now because the news just hit that he just uh, joined the Houston Rockets from the LA Clippers. So it looks like he's going to be playing with James Harden and the Rockets uh, lineup for next season. It'll be interesting to see how the team uh, does and how he, uh, Chris Paul responds to his new coaches and new players. But with him in the lineup, I think it'll make James Harden a better player. That remains to be seen though. Anyways, got some other news, but from the NFL. I just heard word that uh, Clinton Portis, the former running back of the Washington Redskins, was uh, going to uh, somehow murder his financial advisor due to the money that he lost from him. But, uh, I don't know. Part of it, I have to blame on the financial advisor. But Clinton Portis, I have to put some sort of blame on him because he's the one that gave his money away to him. And he also gave his kept buy, buying stuff he didn't need. Like he bought his mother a house. I don't think he could have afford. Why does he have why do you have to buy his mother a house? Why does he have to buy his mom a house or even buy his family members things? Why he could have kept the money for himself and saved it. So I guess he made the assumption that his NFL career would last. But uh, realizing it didn't. Because, I mean, he's, uh, from what I heard, he spent two seasons. First two seasons with the Denver Broncos. I mean, he was playing very well. But I think when he joined the Washington Redskins, his playing ability diminished. While Champ Bailey, who was good in Washington, got traded to Denver because Glenn Portis went to Washington. And uh, Jan Bailey played very well. And he ended up retiring, going to, I think, three or four or five Pro Bowls. Clinton Portis, since he joined uh, Washington, hasn't been to a Pro Bowl. And his career kind of uh, took a nosedive as a result of that. So he's, he's playing ability diminished. He kept spending money. He ended up broke. And wanted to kill his financial advisor, not realizing that he was the one that made all these decisions that that uh, resulted him in being broke in the first place. Asked, uh, he fell into the same dilemma as many former NFL players fall into. They end up uh, being broke due to money mismanagement, and, or should I say, financial mismanagement on their part. It's too bad, so sad, about Clinton Portis. That's all I have for sports.